Hello guys, I'm Ardek from Lomli. Today we will compare Webflow and WordPress. We will see which one is better for 2021. I'm super excited to show you that. And if you like our video, remember to subscribe our channel if you are new. If you are a subscriber, just give like. And remember about our Instagram and about visiting Dwomli, where we have fantastic courses for you and we build something special that we will announce in a few weeks. I cannot wait until I will show you that big project that you will be able to benefit a lot, but it's a secret now. So, let's go! We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Webflow is an excellent no-code platform that helps people build websites, e-commerce or apps without code. That has many benefits like shortening UI development time or cutting costs a lot. Or even the fact that no-code developer doesn't have to have years of experience to provide a product. Anyway, there are cons as well. As I told you, it's a no-code and it's a platform. So it means you are dependent on the platform and its own mechanisms. That fact is very important, especially for bigger startups and enterprise level companies. I think that will probably prefer to have their own solutions. In this case, Webflow can be an excellent platform for quick MVPs or smaller projects, but even if smaller agencies move from developers to no-code operators, there will still be tons of need for developers to build large enterprise-level custom projects. Looks like Webflow's frontend is built with a JavaScript library named Knockout.js some Angular and some even React.js. If you will look of, on their website what type of engineers company looks for, their technologies like JavaScript, Node.js, AWS Lambda, Python, Ruby, GraphQL, some REST APIs, and even technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform or Google Cloud Platform. So I would say they probably have many of the services that they use and they need different languages for Webflow them. is an excellent platform for creating quick and fast UI without coding. But it can be a great tool for building many cases of website like blogs, some e-commerce projects, landing pages and even smaller startup MVP projects. I would say you can do stuff like application with Webflow or you can build something like automated solutions if you will connect that with Zapier or an Airtable you can connect kind of good logic with that so I would say you can build a lot a lot not always is good idea but you can WordPress is still great and because of its CEO optimization and many of the features maybe even the most popular blogging platform but not only blogging it's true the first products built on WordPress were mostly blog and even after years WordPress is still a great decision if you think about what use for new blog. It has many implemented features that support blogging, for example the great editor, friendly URLs, categories or taxonomy. What is more important? Managing one or multiple WordPress blogs, it's very, very easy. WordPress is a blogging platform and fully working CMS, website builder, e-commerce builder and even app builder. You can install many of the available plugins to change your WordPress into the rack and Dirk website builder. After building your website without coding, you can install a plugin that will change your website into AMP or progressive web app or mobile application with a few clicks. 
Next, you can add a blog that will care about your marketing, select template, translates, and even add payments for products. All of that is possible without a line of code. So it's a great way to manage like whole ecosystem. Of course, it will not be super advanced IT architecture, but still you can manage a lot of applications built on WordPress and you can build them without using code. If you visit Webflow's website, there are tons of beautiful templates. They're designed for a various business types, so I'm sure you will find something for blog, e-commerce and even a restaurant. They, their prices look like from $30 up to $150, I would say. So it's not that bad for the paid team. Not all of the templates for Webflow are paid. So if you do not want to pay for the Webflow templates, more than 40 templates are offered for free. There are free templates in various categories dedicated to different websites or blog and have a lovely design. I would say they this look very, very good. And actually, I would say it's not that easy to find that nice looking templates for free that you can find with Webflow. I'm sure they have an uh, onboard designers that do them as a marketing purpose, maybe, but design is fantastic. Templates for WordPress is a huge, huge, huge topic. There are thousands of them, I would say tens of thousands. I would say it's enough to build a very profitable business specialized only in building templates for WordPress, nothing else. And still, if you have business like that, you can be really rich because it's huge demand on that. A lot of people are buying them, not only custom, but really prepared. If you will go for Envato, you will see there are like millions of dollars in sale for sometimes one template. And Actually, there are thousands of them and thousands of agencies that are building only WordPress templates for sale. So you can probably imagine almost everything and there is a huge probability somewhere exists a template for WordPress with content from your idea. With the WordPress, templates are almost the same as with the paid ones. There are tons of them and you can find almost everything. Some of them look mediocre, but still you can find great ones. Even companies like, for example, Elegant Teams, they are these guys from the Divi, Divi is fantastic. Uh, they created like tens of beautiful templates for free and you can download them only if you are a user of Divi. So it's just a click and you have already template. Actually, more about Divi website and e-commerce builder you can find in our article. I will add link in the description. Webflow is a fantastic idea when you think about quick setup of e-commerce, especially when you do not code, don't want to spend money on the development team and would like to set up a actually small online store maybe not super small because i would say you can add many products but not like custom for millions of dollars if you would like to get something quick only on Web webflow's website you can select one of almost 100 e-commerce templates and configure them in a few clicks you do not need to care about payment gateways because Actually, Webflow has like already integration with Stripe, so you can get credit card payments, PayPal, Apple payments or Google Pay on a click. And they have a lot of integration that you can use for build your shop, but I will tell about integrations a bit later. WooCommerce for WordPress is one of the most popular and used e-commerce platforms in the world. What more important, WooCommerce is open source, which means you can use it for free. Same with WordPress, there are tons of already templates, many plugins and payment gateways. Anyway, there is one crucial difference when you compare WooCommerce with Webflow. With WooCommerce, yes, it's true, you can build super custom stuff with own development, but you need to care about installing it, all of the plugins, payments, because of that WooCommerce can be a bit challenging to set up 
a bit more challenging to set up than Webflow when you don't know so much about this platform, especially sometimes you could know a bit about plugins, about configuration, coding, etc. Webflow is not only a page builder, but it's a whole ecosystem. And if you would like to build a bigger application, it's not a problem at all. Webflow's integrations directory contains many ready integrations like Airtable, Zapier, LiveChat or even Shopify. Anyway, you need to remember that even if Webflow's integration is free, there could be an additional payments on the third-party services side. WordPress is fantastic about their possibilities of customization, templates and third-party plugins. You can edit template code, write own plugins or install one of the prepared plugins. If you want to add things like e-commerce, payments, website builder, additional SEO or even auto-posting, you can install a ready plugin and that's it. Now I would like to tell how many plugins are there, because more than 55,000 WordPress plugins are only it's in their free plugins directory. It's only one place you can find them, but still many companies sell plugins, like for example in Envato Marketplace, so we are sure there is much, much more than these 55,000 of WordPress plugins. And are WordPress plugins free? Yes and no. Many of the WordPress plugins, I mean 55,000, you can download for free. Some of the plugins are in reality freemium, what means you can download them, install and use only part of the features until you buy the pro version. Still, there are tons of paid plugins on the marketplaces, like for example Envato, and I would say very often you will need to pay for the plugins if you have special requirements for the project. It's kind of normal if you build something bigger, not simple website, you will need to buy some of the plugins and it will be still much cheaper and faster than paying for development them from scratch. <coughs> Is Webflow free? Yes you can use the free Webflow plan, still you need to care about the fact if you decide to use the free plan. It's limited somehow and if you have bigger requirements or would like to use all of the features, you will need to use the paid plan. And let's go into the Webflow pricing. Webflow has various different plans. Uh, pricing is in the range from free through standard plans, like $20, $35 up to more than $200 per month for the e-commerce ones. There is possibility of tailored plan as well, but you would need to contact Webflow to get the custom pricing. Is WordPress free? Yes, you can use WordPress for free, both of them open source self-hosted CMS and the hosted by WordPress as well. They're like WordPress ORG and WordPress COM. WordPress ORG you can download and host, WordPress COM it's something like their platform. Anyway, you need to know a few essential, essential things. If you use open source self-hosted WordPress CMS, you will need your own domain and hosting that costs some money per year or month and definitely you will need to know how to set up all of that. If you go with the version hosted by WordPress, you have some pricing plans and you have a bit limited customization possibilities, but you don't need to host it and set up. So it's up to your needs. And actually how much it costs if you go with the paid ones. So the pricing of the version hosted by WordPress ranges from free up to $8 for personal usage. The second plan type is business and e-commerce and plans range from $8 to $45. Per month. Still, you will probably need your own domain that costs something about $8, this time not per month, but per year, so it's much better. Webflow has its own hosting and is not a self-hosted platform, that means you do not need to care about setting up and managing custom hosting for Webflow. They have platform, you just create stuff and all of the infrastructure is on them. 
with WordPress hosting is a bit different because only self-hosted WordPress CMS needs its own hosting and database. Still, because it's PHP and MySQL, you don't need super sophisticated uh, stuff like own servers, etc. You can use simple shared hosting and it will be not super expensive. Anyway, I would recommend to find a fast SSD hosting dedicated to WordPress. It can have huge difference in your performance and next on Google results. For example, you can take a look uh, about the name chip. For some stuff, I used them for a longer time. I was very happy. I will give you a link in the description. What about Webflow tutorials? Actually, it's some in the internet and uh, we prepare a course for the Webflow and tutorials. So in the description, I will give you all of the links for that. And about WordPress tutorials, actually, it's a bit more popular platform and we have a few WordPress courses. It's especially interesting for the no-code lovers because we use DV Builder and you will not need to have strong coding knowledge to set up projects or build uh, e-commerce. For example, we have courses like how to install WordPress step by step, how to build like WordPress website without coding and how to create WordPress e-commerce without coding as well. And all of that you will find in the description. I will add you links. Is the Webflow really worth it? I would say definitely, but not for everything. Webflow has some limitations and it's probably not the best way to go with massive projects, but it's an excellent choice for the smaller ones because of its features. It's a perfect idea to set up a quick blog, business website, e-commerce or even a startup MVP. With Webflow you will definitely save a lot of money that you should spend on development and keep a lot of time because you can get your own product in hours, not weeks. What else? It's a perfect way for non-technical people because you do not need to care about maintaining, hosting and time-consuming setups. It's really good about that. So let's ask now if it's WordPress good. Yes, it is, but not for everything. With WordPress you can build much more advanced projects than with Webflow and have much bigger customization possibilities, but you need to have a bit bigger knowledge. You need to have knowledge at least for installation, setup, building the project, in many cases maintaining or building the next page. But this, if somebody will install it for you, you can do without technical knowledge, like adding content or sometimes install any plugin, add a new page. This is possible. Even if large projects are running on WordPress, it's still not the best way to run huge projects and you will need a team of expensive developers for the huge custom solution. Anyway, with WordPress you can still get costs, development time and build much more custom things than with Webflow. Congratulations, you watched all the video. I would say it's a lot, it's 20 minutes of your time, so um, I assume you really like our video. So if you like, give us a thumb up, subscribe our channel and now you know what is better for your needs, if it will be Webflow or WordPress. But still, what is really concerning me and I'm really interested about, it's what you build. If you need some help, if you need some more information, or maybe would you like to precise something about coding, about no coding, let us all know in the comments. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye! A Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas.